A reliable cost data is one of the most important thing for a quantity surveyor. Let me introduce you to a service which is made specifically for this process. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about BCIS. In this video, we will be talking about what is BCIS, how to get access of BCIS, how to use a BCIS for the UK market and how to use BCIS for international markets like Middle East, India or Australia. So what is BCIS? BCIS is an organization which provides data for construction cost. It's called Building Cost Information Service and it is part of RICS. How to get access of BCIS? So all the big quantity surveying firms or design firm or project management firms have access to BCIS, you have to reach out to your team members on how to get access of BCIS. Once you have access to BCIS, you can use their services of analysis, average prices, duration calculator, contract percentage and tender price studies. You can also have access of indices and insights. But in this video, we are going to talk about just the analysis and average price. So without further ado, let me take you to the computer screen to show you how it's done. So once you get to the screen of bcis.co.uk, it will prompt you to sign in. I have already signed in with my organization ID. So then you can go to home. Then there are other tabs like project costs. There are tabs like indices inside. There are tabs like life cycle costs, rates and so on and so forth but in this video we will be talking about just project cost and within project cost analysis and average prices so let's see analysis what you can do in analysis so in analysis the first thing that it is asking basically what it does is you just input some of the information that you want analysis for a certain type of building in a certain type of area in a certain type of gross internal floor area in a certain type of location and then it will give you an average price so let's see how it's done so i am going to select uh, residential facilities so i'll submit it then i will include only analysis newer than 2017 if you want more analysis because the earlier you get the more analysis you have you can choose something like 2010 or 2005 but I think 2017 is okay for us so we are using this and now if you see the age of analysis is newer than 2017 and residential facilities one function is selected we are just talking about flats so we'll submit it now number of stories okay so now I think I have made one an earlier analysis so it is just doing it so I'll clear all settings so we can do it from the starting so let's do it again so now I'm going to select residential facilities and here I'm selecting housing mixed development I'm submitting it and I am keeping the analysis age to be 2017 and here it is saying six function selected now if you click on it it will show you everything like housing mixed development state housing, state housing detached, semi-detached, state housing terrace and flat apartments. So I'll just deselect everything and I'll just select flats. So I'll go to select flats and I'll submit it. Now there is one function selected, date factor. Now it is rebasing the date factor to quarter two of 2025 and the location factor will just clear all this rebase setting also. So we can do all of this again. So now let's go to next. Now it is asking us that do we want to specify any gross internal floor area? You can specify the exact area also and you can specify the custom range also that you want their area to be like this square meter to this square meter and this is the gross internal floor area but that will limit the number of analysis that you get. So I'm keeping it at all. The number of stories you can keep all or you can keep like let's say 3 to 5. This is what we are keeping for now. Air conditioning yes both and basement both. Do it have the basement or not. Any specific criteria you can just write it down. Client codes. Now these information unclick it then it will show you all the information like client codes whether it's public or private. So I'll keep it all construction codes if you see I'll just deselect all 
then it will give me a steel frame, concrete frame, brick frame, timber frame or off-site construction. I think I would like to have information on these three or probably we will just go for concrete frame. Location code we are keeping all because that will also limit the number of analysis that we get. Building accreditation, if you want to see that what are the building, then these are the accreditation of SAP 2009-2012, WIM compliant, listed in Scotland. So I don't want to have a specific selection from this, so I'll select all. If you want to see location codes also, you can see that there are location from all over the UK. There is Northern Ireland, there is Scotland, there is Wales, there is North West region, Greater London and all of it. So I'll keep it all and then specific code categories, if you select it, then if there are substructure, frame, upper structure and all of it, so I'll keep all and then you see now the basic parameters are selected and building specification are also selected and it tells, tells you that there are some analysis that you are coming out to be. If the number of analysis are zero, you have to go back and probably select a broader category so that you can get more analysis. Now let's go to rebase. What does rebase does is, first is date factor. What do you want to adjust it? I want to adjust it to second quarter of 2025. So I'll just select that. A location factor. Let's for the sake of analysis, let's keep the location factor to be London. So I'm keeping London, I'll close it. And then you have basic parameters, building specification, rebase, and next. Let's see. So you have these many analysis. This is 83 affordable rent flat, this is 62 flats and most way. These are not some random information, these are credible information. Let me show you. Now if you go to street view, it will show you that what kind of building is there. If you go to the view on map that it tell you that where it is located. Let's go and try to find more information on some of it. I think this is it, but some of analysis will also give you some drawings, right? So these are credible information. So if you see next is graphs, if you want to have graphs, then you can have graphs that what is the minimum, what is the maximum, what is the range of all of it. But I think this is enough information for you that this is analysis number 35072, a location is this and the cost is rebased. Now this is the cost and the floor area is this much. The type, the date was this, the type was new build and cost to be coming out to be 2239 pounds per square meter of cross internal floor area. Now this building has 2722 gross internal floor area. Uh, this has the cost of 3053 per square meter gross internal floor area and these are all rebased. These are rebased to London and these are rebased to the current quarter that uh, we have selected. So this is the one service that you can use. The another service there of BCI that you can use is average prices. Let's go to average prices. Now it tells you that whether you want the current date or you want a particular date. So we'll keep the current date and then we can again go to residential facilities and we'll just clear all, we'll select this and then submit and I have done a previous selection so I'll just clear all settings. So I'll go back to residential facilities, I'll select this, I'll submit it and then I'll say new build, obviously we want new build and then we can select all also if you want but we are going to select new build so I'm just going to deselect everything Ta -da. and then there are six function again so I'll just clear all I'll just put to flat and submit then let's rebase it now we are rebasing these are also the information that I used earlier so if you want you can just choose it to something else let's say first quarter of 2025 so let's close it and instead of london we'll have probably wales 
and then close it and then let's see the results now this will not give you the complete analysis that this was the project this was the drawing this was the location and everything it will give you average prices now if you see here what are the information that they are giving first is generally so generally means in all the story heights whether it's one story two story three story five story this is the mean cost mean gross internal floor area so what does mean mean so mean is just the average rate so if we have 10 rates so it's just add all the rates and divide by 10 and it will get the mean cost per square meter of gross internal floor area now lowest is out of the analysis which project had the lowest cost lower quartiles now what lower quartile means within this analysis let's say this is analysis of 10 projects have 25 percent of the analysis have this cost now what does mean median means and what is the difference between median and mean so now mean is the average cost but median is not exactly the average cost median is when you arrange the cost in ascending order then the middle cost middle number cost is the median cost let's say we have cost of 10 projects then how the median will be calculated so 10 is an even number so how the even number median is calculated it will be calculated by n by 2 is the number of analysis that you have divided by 2 which is 5 and then n by 2 plus 1 which is 6 and then you take an average of 5 and 6 this is how you will get the median cost if the number of analysis is an odd number then you'll add one to it let's say you have nine number of analysis you'll add one divide by two which is 10 divided by two which is five you will take the fifth cost so median and mean look similar they are not similar then you come to upper quartiles upper quartiles is 75 percent of the cost falls under this category now next is highest cost so highest cost is that out of the analysis the highest cost of a project is kept here so these were the two things that you can use with bcis now this is very important for people who are residing in uk but if your project is not in uk you can still get benefited from this now how to do it there are many ways of doing it the best method is if you have analysis of a few projects then you get a data of similar project from bcis and then you compare and derive your own factor that you know if in Riyadh this project is costing this much and in London this project is costing this much then we have a factor now for every new project I can use that factor another way is, is to build up your own methods one of this is I have a report from Turner and Townsend I'll just show it here now this report basically tells you that how costly it is how expensive it is to build in a particular cities right and it give you a factor like the most expensive city to build right now is the new york which costs you five thousand and seven hundred twenty three dollars per square meter and the lowest is bangalore which costs you six fifty nine dollars per square meter and now if you want to compare it like we have somewhere down here riyadh also which is costing us 2592 and london is costing us let's see london is costing us 4473 so you can use these factors also obviously this will not be like 100 percent but it will be very important if you are giving first order of estimate if you are giving a rough order of estimate if you are just uh, telling the client that you know this is how this is how much the uh, cost could be then you can use the bcis data and as you get more detail and more projects your analysis get better and better so this was a little something about bcis i hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video